Hey everybody, welcome to this basic video tutorial. And in this video, I'm going to show you why it is important for you to learn Google Sheets. So follow along. So Google Sheets is really important for you to learn if you are a student in either you know, middle school, high school, grade school right now, or if you're in college. It doesn't really matter what degree you get, what you get, life is all about big data now. So you need to understand at least the very basics of how to analyze and interpret data so that you're ready for the workforce. A lot of jobs a lot, you know, have require you to have just even a basic understanding of Microsoft Excel so that you can analyze and interpret you know, whether it's your company's data or it's data on students, if you're a teacher, or it's data on your patients, if you work in a hospital. There's so many different places and so many different jobs that even if you understand the very basics of a spreadsheet application, it's going to save you a lot of time. So right here, I have a spreadsheet application opened up. Very basic table. So, you know, most tables that you're going to have in real life are going to be way bigger than this. But let's just say we have all of this data and it's based on just two columns. We have name and we have pizza slices. So this is probably something you've seen in math class before in your life sometime where how many pizza slices did each one of them eat? One of the biggest things that, that you really need to understand is just a, you know, a spreadsheet application like Google Sheets helps you to add up things really quickly. You know, you're not using a calculator anymore because there are formulas and functions that allow you to make things happen really quickly. So some of the big ones that people use all of the time, sum, average, max, oops, max and men, these are probably the big four and they're right here in this functions button. So if we zoom out, you'll see sum, average, and the, oh, count is also an important one. Let me get back to where I was. So I can go ahead right over here and I can just do a quick, quick sum and then I drag the data points. You can also do it this way just by typing equals average and then just tab the average one over and then highlight the information in your table. Equal max. Go up, highlight the stuff in the table. Equals men and go ahead and highlight the stuff in the table. So one of the reasons that Google Sheets is so important and that you really need to know it is look how quickly I just pulled out all that information. So sum, if we were to add everything up, 12 pizza slices were eaten. We quickly found that out, which it might seem like, oh, I could have done that in my head because, you know, there was only six little data points. But imagine if you had 600 data points, how quickly that sum saves you time. It also shows you average. So on average, people were eating two slices of pizza. It shows you the maximum, so on at maximum. And then another quick thing is, let's say you had to make a quick change. You know, the average is going to change if you do that. The max will change. So quick changes, everything else changes with it, with the formulas. It saves you a lot of time. Those are just four very basic formulas, but they're a very important reason. Even if you just use Google Sheets for that, that's an important enough reason. The other thing that I want to talk about is inserting charts. That's another reason that this is so powerful. So if we just highlight all of the information in the table, we're not going to highlight the totals or any of the averages or sums that we got. And then click insert chart. It's just a great way to explain the data. So here we can see by percentage in a pie chart who ate the most. This bar chart is going to show you who, you know, this also shows you who eats the most, but just in a bar chart form, this is the same kind of thing. However, look at all the different chart types you have. You can do scatter plots. You can do columns. You can do bars. You can do area. You can do histograms. So most people, you know, if you're going to work in a business or you're going to work somewhere, you're going to have to know how to create charts and to create tables and to insert different kinds of graphs to explain the data. Because looking at a table is a lot more complex than looking at something like a chart. So if we can, I mean, this is another reason that Google Sheets is so powerful is simply because Look how easy that chart is to read. That shows you the breakdown by percentages of who ate the most. And it also organizes things by colors. It just makes it easier to read. And you can go ahead and change this name. But charts are also very important. Filtering is another great thing. So that's the last thing I want to talk about. As long as you know those three things, you're pretty much ready for any kind of spreadsheet application that comes your way. 
So filtering, in order to do that, there's a quick button for it. It's right here. You can just click filter. And now look, I can filter alphabetically by name. So let's say now everything is alphabetically by name. Maybe we want to sort by number. So now everything's, you know, number one, number two, number three. That can be a quick way to find information. So I hope this helps. I know it was a little long, but it really is important that you learn Google Sheets. It's something that I can guarantee you at some point in your life you're going to be using. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And I'm signing out. I'll see you guys next time.